SCD is nothing but slowly changing dimension. The dimension which is changing over the period of time. Already I have told you which are the dimensions we need to select as a SCD. Like aapka location hoga, address hoga. We are not changing on an occasional basis. We are changing on some period of or some amount of a period of time. We are going to change the destinations. So on those columns, we are going to apply these SCD1, SCD2 and SCD3. But SCD3 is not practically we are implemented in that particular tool. SCD1 and SCD2 we are implementing inside the SSIS SCD dimension. So SCD1 is going to maintain only the current data and SCD2 is going to maintain the current data as well as the historical data. So we need to see that same thing in a practical approach. So we have already created the uh, database. So now I'm creating only a simple database. Already we have created that testing 24 and 25 database. Now I'm creating one simple table. So this table is nothing but. Inside in this table, we don't have any data till now. Now we are inserting this data. These are the five records we have inserted. So now we are having. So in this table we have selected like EID, ename, DOG, that is date of joining and location. So any one of the column we need to select whether if you want to apply SCD1, uh, SCD1 dimension or SCD2 dimension. Whatever the columns you have selected to apply or whatever the columns you have selected on which we are going to check the results. SCD1 if you have applied तो उसमें क्या होगा ओनली करंट डेटा मेंटेन होगा और प्रीवियस रिकॉर्ड कुछ आपने अगर कुछ अपडेट किया है तो अपडेटेड रिकॉर्ड ही आपको दिखेगा लेकिन वो रिकॉर्ड इंक्रीज नहीं करेगा क्योंकि इट विल शो इट विल मेंटेन ओनली द करंट रिकॉर्ड्स नॉट हिस्टोरिकल रिकॉर्ड बट व्हेनेवर यू आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई द एसडी टू टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑन अ कॉलम इन दैट केस व्हाट इट विल डू सिंपली इट विल मेंटेन द करंट डेटा एज वेल एज द हिस्टोरिकल डेटा उस कॉलम में जाके कुछ आपने अपडेट किया है तो अपडेटेड रिकॉर्ड भी रहेगा और जो पहले वाला रिकॉर्ड था वो भी रिकॉर्ड रहेगा एंड दैट इंक्रीज द काउंट ऑफ दैट टेबल दैट इज नथिंग बट नंबर ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स इट विल इंक्रीज ऑटोमेटिकली सो इन दिस टेबल वी हैव सेलेक्टेड दिस टेबल एज अ सोर्स एससीडी टेस्ट इज द सोर्स टेबल इन दैट वी आर हैविंग द फाइव रिकॉर्ड्स नाउ नॉर्मली व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द पैकेज सो वी विल क्रिएट वन सिंपल पैकेज एंड वी विल सी हाउ द डेटा विल बी लोडेड सो दिस पैकेज वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट जस्ट प्रेस F2 into that normal SCD package we are going to create. Just click on S2 all. After that, I have told you we have control flow and data flow. Control flow plus data flow is nothing but your package, but control flow automatically it will replicate. But before that, we need to create the data flow. Once we will create the data flow, automatically it will be replicated inside the control flow. Control flow will indicate how the data will be transforming from source to destination. That complete detail will be there. But before that, if you have developed the data flow, then only it will be replicated. If you have not developed the data flow, nothing will be populated inside the control flow. If you click on that, so nothing will be shown here. So you can see data flow task has been created already. If you click on this double, uh, whatever the symbols you have observed, uh, databases, if you click on that, it will directly go to the data flow. But inside the data flow, we have not created any kind of a package. Now we, what we will do, we will create a simple package. So we will select the source and destination. I have already told here favorite is that destination assistant and source assistant. If you are not aware about what kind of a source you are going to extract in that case, source assistant will guide you. What kind of a sources are available? You can select that, but we are not no need to bother about that. So we are very much aware which source we are going to select because we are selecting the OLDB source that is from SQL Server database. So this is the OLDB source I have selected. Once we will drag and drop because SSIS is a configured tool here. No need to write any kind of a coding or any kind of a programming. So already programming or coding has been implemented in this concept. Just we need to drag and drop onto the data flow taskbar or Text, uh, that uh, whatever the window we are going to see on that data flow. Here you will cross mark. Dekega. Cross mark is nothing but what it will indicate. We have not yet configured whatever the source we have selected. So just click on this database symbol, double click. 
इट विल गो टू दैट वेर यू वॉन्ट टू कॉन्फिगर यहाँ पे न्यू पे क्लिक कीजिए नाउ यहाँ पे हमने कॉन्फिगर नहीं किया है स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक सो क्लिक ऑन दिस न्यू so here server name is not there but i have already told you provided is nothing but if you are installed a sql server aapke paas agar installed hai to by default yahan pe sql server native client 11.0 aayega agar nahi aaya hai then drag this down and click on this and click on this okay so here you will get this native client 11.0 after that we need to select the server name this is the server where you are going to perform the operation Go to this object explorer. After that, click on this symbol. यहाँ पे आपको आपका server name मिलेगा. Just type Control C. Go to this server name. जब आप यहाँ पे server name paste करोगे, then automatically the select or enter database name will populate here. So what I will do is, यहाँ पे हमने हमको जो database access करना है, whatever the databases we have created inside in this SQL server. ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल गेट एक्सेस्ड सो हमने एक डेटाबेस क्रिएट किया है टेस्टिंग ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑलरेडी इज सेलेक्टेड जस्ट टेस्ट द कनेक्शन वंस द टेस्ट कनेक्शन इज सक्सेडेड क्लिक ऑन ओके क्लिक ऑन धिस ओके नाउ इट हैज बीन कॉन्फिगर्ड ओके बट यहाँ पे हमने अभी कौन से टेबल से हमको डेटा लेना है वी हैव नॉट सेलेक्टेड मीन्स from which table you want to select as a source we have not till this time we have not selected now what we will do we'll select the table yahan pe humne ek table create kiya hai that is scd test so you can look at the data also when you are going to click on preview to yahan pe aapko sara data milega jo bhi data aapke paas table mein store hai inside the sql server just go to columns if you want to look at the columns If you click on columns, you can observe that columns. Click on OK. Automatically, the cross mark has been removed. उसके बाद में हमको क्या करना है? We have to select a SCD dimension. So what we will do? We'll drag and pull. So just make it connection. I have already told red mark and this blue color. If you want to create any kind of exception, अगर आपके पास source से कुछ error है and if you want to travel and if you want to store inside in that, then you can drag and drop over there. but here we don't have anything so directly we'll connect this to scd whenever you are going to click on double click on this scd dimension then we will get this wizard so just maximize it so here we need to configure all those things where you want to load the data kyunki humne to oldb source select kiya hai and we have selected the source now whatever the changes you want to apply as per that scd dimension to the target but while before applying or before loading the data into the target we need to it's our responsibility we have to select the target table but till date we have not created the target table so what i will do is simply i will create one table inside in that table we have start date and end date i have told you whenever we are going to apply a scd two type of a transformation so we are having a two methods one is we can identify by using start date and end date otherwise the second method is nothing but we need to maintain the etl current record flag key inside in that we will easily identify which one is the current record and which one is the history record or we can call it as a expired record so we are going to create this table simply so this table we have created these are the two tables we are having so inside the second table we don't have anything now we need to load this data but before that we have to configure this package theek hai to we are going to configure yahan pe next pe click kijiye to yahan pe already aapka connection manager set up hua hai that is testing 24 and 25 now we need to select the table or view where you want to load the data so here scd1 is the target table and inside in this we need to select the key type but what is the reason behind a selecting a key type because here we need to mention the business key because every time whenever we are going to update some records or delete some records or uh, anything we want to perform on a source table that should not be get duplicated because we need to run this package multiple times humko ye package bar bar agar run karenge 
तो ये वैल्यू बार बार ऐड नहीं होनी चाहिए उसी हम क्या करेंगे यहाँ पे एक बिजनेस की प्रोवाइड करेंगे सो so देट बिजनेस की भी हमको कैसे रहना चाहिए वो यूनिक रहना चाहिए तो हम एक यूनिक की को हम बिजनेस की बोल के डिफाइन करेंगे तो इन माय केस इन दिस टेबल आई एम डिफाइनिंग ईआईडी एज अ बिजनेस की तो इसको मैंने बिजनेस की सेलेक्ट किया देन आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट तो यहां पे आपको यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन दैट इज नथिंग बट फिक्स्ड एट्रीब्यूट चेंजिंग एट्रीब्यूट एंड हिस्टोरिकल एट्रीब्यूट फिक्स्ड एट्रीब्यूट इज नथिंग बट अगर किसी कॉलम के ऊपर आपने फिक्स्ड एट्रीब्यूट डिफाइन किया है एंड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू चेंज द वैल्यू अगर आप उसका वैल्यू चेंज कर रहे हो तो ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल थ्रो एन एक्सेप्शन वाइल रनिंग दैट पैकेज और वॉट एवर द पैकेज एग्जीक्यूशन यू आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म इन साइड द एस एस आई टूल इन दैट केस इट इज गोइंग टू थ्रो एन एक्सेप्शन इट इज सेइंग दैट यू आर वायोलेटिंग द रूल ऑफ फिक्स एट्रीब्यूट बिकॉज फिक्स इज नथिंग बट सेलेक्ट दिस टाइप वेन द वैल्यू इन अ कॉलम शुड नॉट चेंज and changes are treated as a errors by default it has been already mentioned now second is changing attribute changing attribute inside the changing attribute this is a scd1 type of a dimension scd1 type of a dimension will maintain only the current records it will not bother about whatever the updates has been happened so yahan pe jo bhi record naya insert hoga wahi wahan pe store hoga और जो पहला वाला रिकॉर्ड था ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल गेट डिलीटेड द सेम काइंड ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड इनसाइड इन दिस सेलेक्ट दिस टाइप व्हेन चेंज्ड वैल्यू शुड ओवरराइट एग्जिस्टिंग वैल्यूज दिस इज अ टाइप 1 चेंज ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट इज हिस्टोरिकल एट्रीब्यूट हिस्टोरिकल एट्रीब्यूट इज नथिंग बट योर एससीडी 2 इनसाइड द एससीडी 2 वी आर गोइंग टू मेंटेन करंट डेटा एज़ वेल एज़ द हिस्टोरिकल डेटा so these are the two kinds of a things agar aapne kuch update kiya hai us column pe jis column pe aapne ye historical data mention kiya hai agar aapne update kiya hai wo update wala bhi rahega aur wo existed wala bhi data wahan pe store rahega so we need to select the column so here i will select e name as a fixed attribute and next date of joining main isko kya kar raha hu changing attribute that is nothing but my scd1 and location is nothing but my historical attribute so this configuration has been done ye scd2 wala hai ye scd1 wala hai so just click on next click on next so here there are two methods already i have explained by two methods we can easily store scd2 type of records so yahan pe use a single column to show the current and expired record because we have not selected a single column so here what we will do will use start and end dates to identify the current and expired records so automatically yahan pe jo humne column is table pe define kiya hua hai this is the start date and this is the end date automatically it will populate here so we will select the start date aur yahan pe hum kya karenge end date select karenge and here there are three ways we can define the timing or how the records are going to get loaded so you can define system container start time or system creation date or system start date so i will select system creation date so just click on next next directly you can finish it so automatically it will get configured when you look jab aap isko dekhoge ye to automatically configure ho gaya aapko na source ka source ne to aap source to aapne liya hai लेकिन टारगेट के बारे में आपको सोचना नहीं है क्योंकि आपने ऑलरेडी एस सी डी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अपने और एस सी डी डायमेंशन आपने वहां पे सेटअप किया है तो ऑटोमेटिकली ये इनबिल्ट ऑपरेशन है ये सेलेक्ट हो जाएगा तो हमारा ये पैकेज यहाँ पे क्रिएट हो गया तो उसके बाद में हमको क्या करना है वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन दैट पैकेज राइट क्लिक गो टू एग्जीक्यूट पैकेज एंड क्लिक ऑन दैट तो ये रन होगा पैकेज तो ऑटोमेटिकली डेटा विल बी गेट्स लोडेड इन द डेस्टिनेशन तो यहाँ पे जब हमने क्वेरी रन किया था ये दोनों सो वी आर हैविंग द डेटा इन साइड द सोर्स बट वी डोंट हैव एनीथिंग इन साइड द डेस्टिनेशन सो इन दिस केस हमारा पैकेज तो रन हो चुका है सो वेन एवर आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस सो ऑटोमेटिकली द डेटा विल गेट लोडेड हियर एंड एंड डेट विल बी नल मीन्स ऑल दीज रिकॉर्ड वॉट एवर द रिकॉर्ड आर देयर इन साइड इन दिस टेबल टारगेट टेबल all the records are current records by chance if you have updated anything here suppose if i am updating anything inside the date of joining column because date of joining is nothing but my scd1 transformation 
and location is nothing but my SCD transformation. So SCD one is nothing but here it will maintain only the current record. It is not bother about the historical record. So it will maintain current as well as three record. So in this case, if I update anything onto this date of joining, nothing will happen because it will maintain only the current record. Suppose if I'm changing this joining date from 2016 to 2021 and if I execute. So if you see source and destination because SCD test is the source and SCD test one is the target. But while loading the data, we have already applied SCD one and SCD two dimension. So Yahape, if you take the screenshot after once we load the data. So simply I'm taking the screenshot. So here it is 2021 and here it is 2016. But till the, uh, till this time we have not run any batch or package. Once if we're going to run, just stop the batch. Same thing, right click, execute package. Stop it and look at the results. Execute it. So it is 2021 and it is also 2021 and uh, no records getting added because SCD1. SCD1, jab hum SCD1 ke column ka kuch data change karenge, to us case me kya hoga? Yaha pe jo current update ho raha hai, record target table be show karega. Na ki past wala record waha pe existed raha hai. Past wala record kya ho jayega? Delete ho jayega automatically. The same thing you can observe inside this screenshot, whatever the screenshot we have taken. So just we had an update here that is 2021 and earlier it was 2016, but it is updated, but there is no change in the records. So this is the case. Now what we will do, we'll change this location because location column having a SCD2 transformation and it will maintain the current as well as history record. Now what we'll do, we'll update this or we'll take this as a one. I am updating this Pune to Indore. So this has been updated now. So this has been updated to Indore and the previous record is Pune. Now we'll verify. Now again, what we'll do, we'll run the package. Execute this package. So package run has been successfully completed. Now check the data. So we'll execute these two tables. So one record has been increased because this is the start date and this is the end date. Again, he has changed his location from Pune to Indore at this uh, point of a time. So it will insert because we have location to update the location. So if we have done the update, what will it do? It will store SCD2 in the history and store the current record. Store the same thing what we have observed whenever we are going to create the package inside the SCD.